Good morning. So let me continue with the slab type combined footing. So let me brush up what are all the things that I have done in the last class. In the last class, I have completed the design of shear reinforcement for AB portion, BC portion and CD portion. Okay, the longitudinal reinforcement, I have completed it. The longitudinal reinforcement as well as the shear reinforcement, I have completed it. Now let me go with the transverse direction. So transverse direction means in the breadth wise. Observe here. So longitudinal section means in the length wise. Okay, so now I will be concentrating in the breadth wise. Breadth wise means I will be able to see only one column because if I see it from this end in this direction, so only this column I will be able to see. So now only that particular column I will be concentrating on. Then I want you people to tell me what is the width of this particular footing. So it's 1.9 meter. So now I will be going with the transverse reinforcement. Whenever this column hits this, it bends in this pattern. It bends in this pattern. So the tension will be at the bottom. So I need to provide some reinforcement, transverse reinforcement, longitudinal reinforcement, I have provided it. I need to provide the transverse reinforcement. So next heading, it's the transverse, it's the transverse reinforcement. It's the transverse reinforcement. So as there are two columns, so what I will be doing is, so, uh, for first column or I will be saying that near first column due to the load applied by the first column how it bends in transfer direction for that particular bending what is the steel that I will be providing. So now as I am going with the breadth wise as I am going with the breadth wise try to understand the concept length wise if I want to provide the reinforcement I need to provide it in this direction. But now I am concentrating on breadth wise. As I am concentrating on the breadth wise, breadth wise the total length is 1.9 meter. And till what distance I need to provide? Till 5.7 meter length. So that's why here I will be providing the bars in terms of spacing. Please remember the concept. So now I will be providing the transfer reinforce, transverse reinforcement and I need to provide it in this direction. The length is 5.7. So that's why what I will be doing instead of calculating the number of bars, I will be calculating the spacing of bars. So now what I will be doing is as I need to calculate the spacing of bars. If I want the spacing of bars, I want the AST. If I want the AST, I need the bending moment. So bending moment and all will calculate it now. So now near the first column, so let me consider this. So I will be taking the cross section of this. Okay, so this is a column. Let me show the continuation mark. So what is the first column dimension? It's 300 by 300. So can I call this as 0.3 meter? So what is the total length? So it's 1.9 meter. Yes or no? So 1.9 meter in that if I deduct 0.3 meter, it's 1.6 meter totally. So then what will be this? Observe here once again I am telling total is 1.9 out of that if I deduct this 0.3 it is 1.6 meter. So 1.6 meter equally I will be distributing 1.6 divided by 2. So it's 0.8 meter. Here also it is 0.8 meter. Okay for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction from the soil. So what is the Q0 stress value that we have provided? So Q0 value, I think it's 133.90 kilo Newton per meter square. As I will be now going with the spacing of bars, let me multiply it with one meter. Okay, so it's 133.90 kilo Newton per meter. Whenever the column load is transferred onto this particular slab, so the critical portion is near the face of the column. The critical portion is near the face of the column. This line is almost on this particular point. So now let me calculate the bending moment at this particular point. So now bending moment at this particular point is equal to, observe. So there is an UDL, okay. So it is hitting in this direction, okay. So it is the sagging moment. So sagging means positive, it is 133.90 into 0.8 into 0.8 by 2. 
So after solving this, the value that we are getting here is 42.848, 42.848 kilonewton meter. As I want to design it, let me go with the MVO value. So it's 1.5 into 42.848. Okay, so now the value that we get here is 64.27, 64.27 kilo Newton meter. Okay, so now I can easily calculate the AST. So how to calculate the AST? So I think you people know that AST calculation, area of steel. That is, I'm calculating the spacing now, be careful. So first let me calculate the area of steel is nothing but MU is equal to 0.87 Fy AST into D into 1 minus Fy AST divided by FCK B into D. Okay, so what is the value of MU? Just now we have calculated it's 64.27 into 10 power 6 is equal to 0.87 Fy is 415. AST only we need to calculate. So please remember what is the effective depth? So effective depth will be same whether you take it in length wise or you take it in the transverse wise. So the depth is same. So what is the depth? That is 400 mm. So it's 400 mm because if you see the depth of the slab in this manner also it's 400. If you see it in this direction also it is 400 mm. So into 1 minus 415 into AST divided by FCK is 20. Now be careful. So while doing it the in the longitudinal direction, we have considered the breadth as the width of the footing. But here I am calculating the spacing. Spacing comes into picture means breadth will be 1000 into depth is 400. So the AST that we are getting after solving this is the AST that we are getting after solving this is 455.81 mm square. 455.81 mm square. 455.81 mm square. Already I have told you people. So whenever the value of AST is near 300, 400 or 500, let me check for AST minimum. Check for AST minimum okay so AST minimum is given by 0.12 percent of gross area thousand into effective depth B into capital D so capital D is 460 not small d 400 it's 460 so the value that we are getting here is 52 mm square see it's 552 mm square so comparing AST, AST is 455.81 mm square. Code suggests that the minimum AST should be 552 mm square. Okay, so AST minimum itself is greater. So provide AST minimum of 552 mm square so please be careful so now let me calculate the spacing of that so let me assume 12 mm dia bars so let me rub this assuming assuming 12 mm dia bars okay spacing is equal to so it's pi by 4 into 12 square divided by AST minimum is 552 into 1000 so the value that we are getting here is so the value that we are getting here is 204.8 204.8 mm okay so now spacing is least of the following Spacing is least of the following. Spacing is least of the following. So what is the first one? It's three times the effective depth. Okay, so it's three times the effective depth. 
effective depth. So 3 into effective depth is 400 mm. So it's 1200 mm or 300 mm. So out of this three, this, this and this. So the least is this one. So provide 12 mm dia bars at 200 mm center to center. So near the first column, due to the application of the load, it tries to bend in this pattern. It tries to bend in this pattern. So I, I will be providing this reinforcement there. Okay, next let me go with the near the column 2. So let me calculate the transverse reinforcement near column 2. So next one near column 2. So now what will happen is, what is the dimension of the column 2? It's 500 mm. Yes or no? So it's 0 0.5, 0 0.5 meter. The total it will be same. So it's 1.9. Out of 1.9, if I deduct 0 0.5, it's 1.4. 1.4 divided by 2. So it's 0 0.7 meter. So obviously here also it is 0 0.7 meter. So the critical section will be near the face of the column. So I will be calling it as Y, Y. So this is also same. So this is Q naught. It's 133.90 kilo Newton per meter square. I want to convert that into kilo Newton per meter. So multiply it with one meter spacing. So it's 133.90 kilo Newton per meter. First let me calculate the moment about that particular point m y y is equal to it's 133.90 into 0.7 that will get converted into point load into 0.7 by 2. So what is the value? After solving this the value that we are getting here is 32.80 32.80 kilo Newton meter. So now I want the ultimate value. So M mu is equal to 1.5 into 32.80. So if I multiply it, the value that we are left out with is 49.2 kilo Newton meter. 49.2 kilo Newton meter. Okay. Now I need to calculate the AST. I will be using the same uh, formula. So instead of this area of steel I will be calculating instead of m mu. So it is 49.2 into 10 power 6 0.87 Fy AST into D into 1 minus Fy AST 20 B into D everything is same. So after solving this the value that we are getting here is so the value that we are getting here is 346.91 mm square. 346.91 mm square. So I need to check for AST minimum. Yes or no? So now AST minimum the same thing. Nothing will change. 552. So AST is 346.91 mm square. So which is less than AST minimum. So provide AST minimum is equal to 552. So next what I will be doing is I need to calculate the spacing. So spacing. Assuming, let me go with the same thing, assuming 12 mm dia bars, 12 mm dia bars, okay, spacing is equal to pi by 4 into 12 square divided by 552, which is same thing, I think it was 204.8. Square mm 204 into 1000. I need to multiply so it's 204.8 mm. So spacing is least of the following same thing. Spacing is, is least of the of the following. 
least of the following. So the first one is the same thing, three times the effective depth. So three times 400, it's 1200 mm. The last one is 300 mm. So out of this, this and this, this is least, provide 12 mm dia bars at 200 mm center to center. 200 mm center to center. So I have calculated the longitudinal reinforcement. I have calculated the transverse reinforcement also. So this completes the design of a slab type combined footing. So for VTU students, just concentrate on slab type combined footing. But so slab and beam type combined footing, the pattern of problem VTU students also need to study. Because in slab and beam type, I have calculated P1, P2 and all projections. But here they have only given one projection. That is from the boundary line till the center of the first column. It is 0.8 meter that they have given. Only the pattern of problem you can use. Okay, That pattern of problem can be given for the slab type also. Now observe here, the important thing is, so in RCC structure, I have completed the cantilever retaining wall, yes or no? And that too, the backfill was horizontal. When the backfill is inclined, sloped backfill we call. So that is also there, okay, I have not done it, but only small modification, okay. Next, counterfoot also I have not done it. And for counterfoot also, horizontal backfill and inclined backfill. For all those things, I will be sharing the notes in the description. Okay, so next thing, I think I have completed the slab type combined footing and slab and beam type combined footing. Next, I have completed the portal frame. So in portal frame, I have completed the fixed portal frame. Still, I am in need to do with the hinged portal frame. Hinged portal frame also, nothing changed, only two particular stages. So that also I will be sharing the notes. And for all these things, I have not done the detailing part. Yes or no? I have not done the detailing part. So detailing part also I will be doing the videos for the same problems. Okay. So I will be doing the detailing part and I will be uploading it. So from next class onwards, I will be starting with the steel structures. Okay. So for time being, we'll wind up. Thank you.